the cross and drop, creating some great space in the offensive zone. Exactly. The cross and drop is super simple, except it's also technical as well. Mm -hmm. So with those both nuances, it creates a lot of time and space, and it inflicts confusion, the opposing defenseman. So you see Palat crossing. So there's the cross. Eventually dropping it to Stamkos, who then makes a phenomenal feed back over to Palat, who finds the back of the net. Now, when Palat and company are coming up the ice, it's two on two. There's nothing wrong here from the Colorado Avalanche defending this play whatsoever. So what is he going to do? He's going to try and create time and space. So he's going to let Kucherov come through, cross over here, drop it to Stamkos, who then is going to find Palat again, who eventually gets the back of the net. It's almost like we got a fake cross and drop right there yep. before we got the real one. Absolutely. And it, that created a lot of confusion for the Colorado Avalanche because they're anticipating that first cross and drop. They don't do it. They go to the second option. And all of a sudden, you've got enough guys back to cover the play, but they're nowhere near where they should be for coverage.